NBA fans in Detroit heckled Jamal Murray in ways that could only be deemed utterly classless. The Twitter account Joker Season 15 would allege the fans would be removed. The your girlfriend is a whore chatter was low, and this fan calling Jamal Murray boy met the bar as well. The Detroit Police Department told TMZ Sports the fan who had the heated exchange with Murray violated the NBA fan code of conduct and was removed from Little Caesars Arena without incident, the outlet printed. The comeback would also report security intervened and escorted the fan out of the building without incident. There have been several cases over the years of NBA fans heckling players and being escorted out of the arena. On the boy remark, one Utah Jazz fan would heckle Russell Westbrook in March of 2019 with the same usage, and even with Westbrook saying it's disrespectful, the man would double down. The Legal Defense Fund would note it is widely recognized that the use of the term boy to describe an African-American man is deeply offensive and reflects discriminatory intent. One judge, for example, had said that when used to describe an adult African man, boy is akin to the N-word. The Legal Defense Fund's brief drew up historical instances of black men being called boy to insult and demean them. It also notes the term has been derogatorily used to refer to African-American men since the time of slavery. When Dr. Martin Luther King, a civil rights activist, wrote from the Birmingham jail, he would point to that word, boy, as one of Jim Crow's ritual humiliations, braided into the racial etiquette of the post-slavery South. It was yet another way, like withholding simple courtesies, like honorifics, that white people weaponize language to remind black folks of their place. Boy shows up again and again, if implicitly, in the language of black resistance to white oppression. Think about those video reels and the black and white photos of black men during the civil rights marches with sandwich boards or placards saying, I am a man, the Bucknell linguist Haram Smith said. There's an old urban legend, Smith added, in which black jazz age musicians began using man as a term of affection, as in, what's happening, man, as a rebuke to boy. Greenfield High School in Greenfield, Wisconsin, saw Omar Surveyor, a 17-year-old basketball player, be called boy multiple times by athletic director Trent Lower per WISN. Omar, his teammates, and parents in the stands would wear shirts that read, my name is not boy and my son's name is not boy. The school would conduct an investigation. Lower would later admit to using the word against Omar. He would resign from his position as athletic director. One parent told local media it was almost a waste of time. If Trent wanted to apologize, he could have apologized to Omar in a public setting, just like he disrespected him in a public setting, said parent Jerome Smith.